All right, guys, this is the final section for Chapter 8, Section 5. Multiplying and dividing radical expressions. So, we're going to focus on today the fourth objective. Writing radical quotients in lowest terms. So our objective is to write radical quotients in lowest terms. There it is again. Hooray! Okay. So we're going to write each quotient in lowest terms. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at each of the terms within this um, expression. And so we've got 24 and 36 and 16. So what we want to do is we want to look for the greatest common factor between all three of those terms within this expression. So the greatest common factor between 24 and 36 is 12 and the greatest common and then we have 16 on the bottom there. Um, my methodology is a little bit different so uh, we'll talk this through in a moment. So Divide out the common factors, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, and then we're going to reduce those 4s, and then they're going to redistribute the 3 back over the um, binomial there. So you end up with 6 minus 9 times the square root of 7 over 4. So either one of those answers would be correct. This is much cleaner looking, so I prefer that. But um, I would accept this. This is what, uh, this is what you get with this. Nothing excited. Anyway, let's take a look at the one with the variable now. So the greatest common factor, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to find the per any perfect squares. We want to simplify this as much as possible. So they're going to get... 2x plus 4x times the square root of 2 all over 6x. Now there's an x in each of these so we can factor that out 2x and then we are going to cancel as much as possible. Um, so they've got 2 times 3x. I would have 2x times 3. I think that would make more sense. So this becomes 1 plus 2 times the square root of 2 over 3. I will be posting a, uh, some further examples um, using the EduCreations app, um, where I, I think it's a lot easier uh, methodology. So this was the final uh, part of 8.5. Make sure you do your assignments. Make sure you upload your work. And have a great spring break, guys.